Hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, it is a new day as per usual, and we have ourselves Tom Milk here. It is 11.39 a.m. on March 25th, 2020. There's really not much news today, so instead I'll share some valuable tips about, about stripe living. Now, I'm going to share some info on highly prized items you can get via the Miles Redemption Service. Today's top tip is about the Pocket Organization Guide. The longer you live in one place, the more things you tend to accumulate. The same is true on this island. Anyone out there feeling a little overloaded? If so, you're in luck. Once you master the techniques in this guide, you'll be able to do even, uh, to stuff even more stuff in your pockets. Better living through organization. I hope you all, all of you pick up this item to live the tidiest life possible. You already have it. Uh, that's all from me, bye bye now. All right, well, <laughs> thank you for that information. I couldn't make the most of it, maybe somebody else will. But I think he's mentioning the thing where you can buy it and you can have an extra row of items in your backpack. We already got it though. Very worth it, one of the most, most worthwhile upgrades we've gotten in the game. But yeah, today we're mostly focused on continuing to fish. Ooh, we got some mail. Uh, from Gulliver. Oh yeah, because we helped Gulliver last episode. Dear Zebra, here's a little gift to thank you for all of your help. I suppose, I, I'm supposed to be steering the ship right now, but I had to write this before I forgot. Anyway, I see a big rock up ahead, so I better wrap this up. Bye, love, Gulliver. All right, well thank you so much there, Gully Boy. Uh, let's go ahead and open that up. And what, are, what is all this other stuff I have? Oh yeah, all the log sticks. Wow, look at this, it's a veil? I thought it was a helmet. Oh, okay. Oh, this reminds me of Breath of the Wild. Oh, that's pretty cool. I was hoping it was gonna be a motorcycle helmet, but both of those things are awesome, so I'm happy with it. Oh, our tree finished growing. Does that mean, oh, is our other trees done yet? Well, not this one, or either of these, but we do have a little digging spot here. We might as well get around and try to do what we can with all that. I hope that our bridge is done. I'm not really sure though. Look, I dug up a fossil. Yes, you did. So let's patch that up and sort of just take a little run around. We'll see if there's any more fossil spots. We'll see if there is uh, the finished bridge and we'll try to get some daily quests done as well, you know, as we normally do. And then after that, like I wanna try, what was that? Oh, that was a smokestack from our house, okay. Um, I wanted to try my best at trying to complete more of the houses so that we can actually have neighbors moving in. That would make me very happy. So we'll be trying to pre prepare, you know, Stripe Island for exactly just that. In the meantime, we gotta jump across to we. Hmm. Not seeing too many other places to dig up just yet, but there should be, you know, like three or four. There were th four last episode, actually, yeah. We've seen four of day. and the bridge is built, awesome. Look at this, because it wasn't available before, was it? It was all railed off, I can't remember. Yeah, very nice, we have the bridge. Oh, and of course, we can hit the rock with the shovel. Wanna make the most of that, so one. Two, three, got some good stuff so far. Oh yeah, we need to make new tools today. That's a big thing. Gotta focus on some new tools and that's gonna be it. So we just got a Nook Miles thing done, so after I pick these up, I'll check it out. So definitely a lot, a lot we're getting up to in today's episode, for sure. Definitely wanna get some new tools. Uh, hit rocks, way ahead of you. Didn't even know that was one of them but it was. Yeah, what are some of our other stuff that we have around here? Plant flower seeds, sell fruit, catch bugs, complete DIY projects, and chop wood. We can chop wood in a moment. Right now, I'm still trying to focus in on finding any more diggable spots, which so far, it looks like we've cleared the most of them out. I mean, there's only been one so far, but you never know where another one might pop up, so that's what I've been looking for. Now we can collect some clams on our way back. Hmm. Yeah, as, as per usual, lots to do. I have been only playing like one episode per real life day recently, um, just because I, you know, I have to also put time into, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I, we also have to put time into playing other games and stuff, but I think it's actually been turning out quite well. It makes it so that there's lots to do for, with each episode. Some of it, of course, can be a little repetitive and I try to keep that in mind for everybody uh, so that you guys don't have to see the same things over and over again. But I think that'll change up more as the game continues to develop. You know, as we keep moving forward with the game, there'll be more things going on, more villagers to interact with. I will uh, put this away so that we can shake the tree. Because we need to sell five fruit. So what else but the very easy to access oranges. I'm a bit concerned about the fact that we haven't really seen any other diggable spots. It makes me think that maybe there aren't as many around this time. We'll have to wait and see. Right now. I'm gonna hit this with a shovel, get some more iron nuggets, and 
some rocks, some clay, all good stuff. And there should be another one on the other side of Biff's house, but in the meantime, I could pull up the ax and not only knock down the oranges, but get some one out of it, because I need to get 10 in total, right? I need to be ready, though, because I feel like we're due for a wasp to attack, because it hasn't happened in a few episodes, so I'm getting a little bit nervous that that's gonna happen soon. One, two, three. And then over this way, we'll get these three oranges, as well as three pieces of wood. Got it. And then I just have to hit one more tree one more time. Then we'll go in and say hi to Biff. Oh, there, there's a uh, diggable spot over there. Come on. <laughs> Silly me. So there we go. Get the shovel back out. Dig that up. And there we go, fossil number two. Look, I dug up a fossil. Yes, you did. Oh, and there goes our shovel. We still need to get this rock. So we'll, we'll figure all that out. But for now, hey Biff. You home? He is. Okay. So we'll go say he hello to Biff. Our hippo friend. Oh wow, he's really spruced up the place with a lot of like spruce wood. What do you know? Um, I don't know if it's actually spruce wood. Just thought it'd be a funny joke. 150 tickets or miles right there. And next one is chopping down trees. That actually won't be too bad. Hi. Well, here you are. Make yourself at home, Squirt. Chat with me. Hey, I've got a totally build question for you. Which muscles would you rather work on, Squirt? My biceps, my delts, or my quads? I forget what delts are. <laughs> uh, let's say quads. That choice says a lot about you, Squirt. The high muscles are important for extending your legs, running, and even just standing up. If I had to guess, I'd say you're really good at fundamentals like kindness and honesty. Oh, thank you. All right, so we have something for you, apparently. This is for you. What am I giving him? What? For me, Squirt? Oh, are we just gonna give him something? I can give him the veil. Sure, why not? Here you go. A veil. That's a really zebra choice. Cool. I'll take that as a compliment. This isn't what I'd usually go for, but it's really cool, Squirt. Thank you. Maybe I should have given it to Pashmina. Here's 1,040 bells. Try doing curls with them. You'll feel stronger in no time, Squirt. Well, thank you. You didn't have to give me money, but I appreciate it. Maybe that might have been more than the veil was worth. Yo, what's up, Squirt? I want to chat. Do you have anything else to say? Someone said if I want to be skate a skateboarding pro, I should study a wharf roach. I could figure out all of its sweet moves if I could catch one. I'll catch one for you. Really? Awesome. Good luck, Zebra. So I know actually where to get a wharf roach. They're all usually on the beach rocks, so I'll have to look out for that. But for right now, uh, what Nook Miles thing did we do? Nook Miles for Miles, earning Nook Miles for earning Nook Miles. Yes, yes, just earned Miles for finishing Nook Miles plus goals. But where will it end? It will never end. So we've done 50 of them so far. If we get up to a 200, we can get even more. So we're over 4,000 right now, which is very nice. I like your little workbench. Wow, you're really curious about the stuff in my house, Squirt. <laughs> but you aren't gonna discover any secrets to becoming a world-class athlete by just staring, staring at my stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll take the hint, I'm going. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to just poke around at all your stuff. Anyways, so far so good. We only made an extra thousand bells. We made Biff very happy, I hope. Oh, hi, Pashmina. Yo, kiddos, what's, what's the world? What's the latest? This island's got a ton of foods I've never heard of. I'm trying to come up with meals for as many as I can. Oh, I would like to hear about some. You again, kidders? Did you forget something last time? I wanna chat. Hey, Zebra. So I heard Tan Nook recruited you to find us some new neighbors. Sounds like a pretty big job. I'd help out if I knew how, but I know you got this, kidders. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for the offer. Let's go ahead and get an ax out so that we can knock down one of these trees. There it goes. And we could just leave the, the stump for this one. Okay, so here is the next. I do have another shovel, so let's favorite this one. Oh, if I have another shovel, maybe I should go back and get the one rock, too. Uh, but this should be fossil number three, and indeed it is. Look, I dug up a fossil. So let's go back real quick. Um, no, I didn't want to dig a new hole. I wanted to dig up the old one. Got it. And let's try this out. So no money rock this time. That's okay. Keep going. So far, so good. We we'll also have to took out Nook's Cranny to see what the second day of having Nook's Cranny will have for us. Like, there should be new items and everything. So that'll be cool. So after grabbing all of this, 
Let's take a look at what other Nook Mile stuff we can do. Claiming that. So we're already getting a lot of miles in today's episode. Pop balloons, we'll do that sooner or later. So I'll have to have my net out for right now to see if there's any um, bugs around. There usually are near the tent area, so we'll try that out. See how it goes. You also have your net out. Yours is nicer than mine. Whoa, that's a pink praying mantis. We've caught a green one before, but not a pink one. That's new for me then. Okay, you ready? No! Wait! Ah, oh, darn! It's really hard to tell if I'm close enough or not. That's a shame. Oh, well, that would've been really nice to get. Hopefully it pops up again. I caught a common butterfly. Awesome, we'll just sell those, of course, but need to get them first. So is there anything else going on around here? Not looking like it. So yeah, let's, let's take a look at this. Uh, today's hot item, wooden block chair. So we could make that and sell it for extra cash if we wanted to. Don't think that's something we have to worry about just yet, but maybe at some point or another. Hey guys. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. So first off, let's see what we can sell to you. Uh, I wanna sell. So, I don't know if I wanna go super crazy with it, but I do wanna sell the co-wire, um, this, the fruit, the giant clam, and I guess a clump of weeds. Maybe I should save them until the, the mission pops up. So that's all I wanna do for right now. Look at all the things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done, I can buy these from you for 2,020 bells. Sounds good. And, what do we got here? Seems like you're interested in cardboard box. Let's see, that's 120 bells. I think I'll take a pass. Don't really need the cardboard box, but I like the little apple design on it. And is this a little tea kettle? Seems like you're interested in the stovetop espresso maker. 1,700 bells, I'll pass, but still, always cool to see what they have. What about over here? Wall-mounted candle. So do I just put this candle, those, those are limited supplies, so act fast if you're serious. Let's see, that's 800 bells, what do you think? I don't think we get that little mock wall, I think we only get the candle. That's actually sort of interesting. I don't think I need it, but I like the idea. And then over this way, seems like you're interested in the Zen cushion. Those are limit, in limited supply, so act fast if you're serious. 500 bells. I don't think so. But I'm just glad to see everything they have to offer. And I do want to take a look. Do I have like slingshot, a flimsy net, shovel, axe, a normal axe? I'll probably have to upgrade a little bit more. I, oh, I definitely need to upgrade this axe. And then we need a fishing rod. That's what we need to buy a replacement of. So, yep. So, fishing rod right here. Oh, they have a new umbrella. I'll buy it. I'll look at what else you have, but it doesn't look like there's too much. Navy wrapping paper. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Well, actually, that's wrapping paper, not wallpaper. Here is the wallpaper. So there's a new selection of stuff here today. I wouldn't mind trying like the wooden knot flooring. Not super crazy about any of these walls, but we'll try this flooring. Of course, we wanna make sure our house looks really cool. Nothing else for right now, but we're gonna keep moving. I can't wait until they, I, I'm really excited to be able to go in here and find something that really speaks to me, you know? And just be able to get that and put it in our house and it'll just feel right. Because right now I'm just sort of putting in whatever, whatever I get, I'm just trying to spruce up with. But anyways, now that we got some of those items, I can get some more Nook Miles for selling the fruit. And what will be the next thing? Uh, catch a dab, which could happen. We'll just have to look around for it. So I'm looking to see, aha, look at this. We got ourselves another potential money tree. All right, look, I dug up a thousand bells. Speaking of which, is our other money tree done growing yet? So we wanna go ahead and bury in a hole. Boop, and it makes a little tree sapling. So over this way, right? Uh, aha, it's still, maybe it's still growing? No, don't do that. It seems like it because Right now it's just a normal tree. <laughs> That's a bit unfortunate, but I'm sure it'll turn into something exciting soon. See, what I'm looking for now is just like one last diggable spot that might be around. Because usually there's four, not three. But we found three of them, That's still pretty good. I don't know for right now. So we'll go get those fossils assessed, we'll upgrade some of our tools. There's lots of stuff still left to do. So let's get to doing it. Let's see how uh, Blathers is doing. He's still snoozing, of course. 
We haven't seen him during the night, so maybe he's actually awake during that time. Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Zebra. Welcome to the Stripe Museum. How may I be of service? Let's assess some fossils. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. So we have three of them. One right there, one right here, and one right here. Confirm. Here we go. Ooh, more than one I see. Let's just take a closer look, shall we? Ooh, hooray, I found something that is not yet part of our esteemed collection. It is magnificent indeed. You have ta a talent for finding the finest of fossils. Now, I do hope you will consider donating what you found. The cultural development of Stripe is a worthy endeavor indeed. In the meantime, I shall return these to you, but think on what I've said. The museum awaits. So yeah, we'll see what we ended up getting, and he said it as if there might be one of them that isn't already, or that is already in the museum. We'll find out. Aha, actually two of them. So T Terra Body and the Quetzal Torso are already in there. So let's go ahead and donate the Dimetrodon Torso. Sure. Dimetrodon, I think. Ooh, 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 could it be it is? A Dimetrodon Torso. I never thought I'd lay eyes on upon such a well-preserved di Dimetrodon Torso. Jeremy, I might have given you a short present. May I, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? Yes, please. Wonderful, it's fascinating stuff, I assure you now. Where to begin? Ah yes, Dimetrodon, not actually a dinosaur, despite what some people may tell you. This reptile, not dinosaur, is most famous for the large sail-like organ on its back. Said organ was likely useful in regulating its non-dinosaur body temperature. Reptiles are known to be cold-blooded, but there is some debate as to whether dinosaurs were too. Dimetrodon assuredly was. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I will gladly accept your generous donation. All right then. I only hope we can find what remains at the fossil display in its assembled form. I agree. We'll keep looking for stuff, but yeah, we'll be able to finally find out how much the dinosaur bones sell for in the shop. Hopefully a major amount of money, but I don't know. If so, we could pay off our mortgage. That'd be really exciting. That'd be really, really exciting. We'll have to find out, so. Going over this way. Yeah, just paying off our loan, always a good thing, right? Rather be debt free. Hi. So I would like to sell, I'm gonna sell one at a time so that we can get an idea of how much they cost. I'm just really curious. So up this way we have the Terra Body. Here you go. A Terra Body, sure, how about I offer 4,000 bells? Not bad. Just for one item, usually that's like a whole inventory of like fish. And we also have the, what is this? This is the Quetzal Torso. Here you go. A Quetzal Torso, sure. How about I offer you 4,500 pounds? A little bit more. Awesome. We're really close to paying off our loan. So let's get out of here for right now. I don't know if I wanna sell all or get rid of all my money at the moment, but I definitely wanna put a good chunk in if I can manage. And what other things do we got going on in our inventory that I might wanna figure out? I mean, for right now, I think I'm good just to, because I have six of the iron nuggets. I should be good for upgrading some of my stuff. And maybe even making some other things. I wouldn't mind making a uh, crafting bench near my home. Now might be a good time. Since I'm not on such a desperate crunch to find all of the iron nuggets now that we've uh, upgraded to the Nook's Cranny, We'll see what we can make. Uh, so first off, down this way, we have our craftable, simple DIY workbench. It's gonna use most of our hardwood, but that's fine. So yep, building all of that. So, ta-da, I made a simple DIY workbench. Keep crafting. So I wonder if we can make more complex DIY workshops, like mini DIY workbench. Would that make more things than this can? You know, implying the simple part of it? I don't know. Um, so a stone axe we should probably make because you know we already have an axe, even though this is probably going to get taken out soon, I don't know. Uh, but for right now we'll just focus on this, the flimsy axe, uh, turning into the stone axe so that we have a more durable thing that can shake up the wood without chopping it down. Anyways, uh, we also have a new shovel we can craft. It just needs the flimsy shovel and an iron nugget. And we, I think we have more iron nuggets back home. I can't exactly remember. Keep crafting. I would like to upgrade the fishing rod as well. And this is why it's worth playing at least once a day so that we can get more iron nuggets at the least. I made a fishing rod. Keep crafting. And I guess it's really it for right now. Oh no, wait, the net. I wanna make sure that we get a better net. Ooh. Got it. I made a net. All right, so we might just wanna take a quick look, see to see if there's anything else that I might wanna make for the time being. Cause there's no more, 
bridge construction kit. I thought we would get more than one of those, or just the ability to make it as often as we wanted to. But not really. And also, what was the uh, item that was selling a lot for today? I also was curious to see if that one chair that they were talking about was available. Oh yeah, right here, the wooden block chair. I don't have wooden block. You need to make a wooden block toy to make a wooden block chair? That's a little weird, but uh, I'll keep it in mind. Anyways, I don't know if that's something I wanna worry about too much for right now. I do wanna upgrade some stuff, and then I'll talk to Tom Nook about building the house. There we go, 150 of them. Okay, well it says times two, so maybe we got 300 for that? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, hey buddy. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. We can hold another ceremony. Uh, I, I think I'm good. What should I do? Well then, our bridge is up, so let's get to work on building some homes. Please take these three housing kits. With the housing kits I just gave you, you'll pick out plots for three homes. Then of course, these homes will need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of, of the furniture required for its house, so be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style, so let me just send you the recipes you'll need. Okay, so it looks like we really are just building the houses. I think that's all from me. Thanks for all of your help. So let's take a look at that now. First, we get some Nook Miles for participating in all this. Have a nice DIY. Yep. So it has us a 500 more Nook points. Very good. So if we go this way then, trying to figure all this out. Okay, this is all the new stuff. So is there a list? He said there was a list somewhere. Don't exactly know where. Maybe in our inventory? Aha. Um, plot two housing kit, plot three housing kit. Weird, I don't know how to get the list. Anyways, still a couple more things we can do. Welcome to the Nooks up a multimedia terminal once per day. So we have another, oh, did I forget to do this yesterday? Oh no! We're down to 50, that's okay. Um, Let's redeem some miles if we can, or at least look at our options. Because it might be good to get more hairstyles and stuff. I might want to keep saving for now though. Um, on top of that, the novelties. I don't see too many things I want at the moment. Okay. And then Nook Shopping, ABD. Let's go ahead and see if we can't do some stuff here. So we have our loan balance is 48,000, so we could put in 30 right now. Pay from pockets. Uh. Oh gosh, three O. Oh. No, 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 not what I wanted. Perfect, so we're down to 7,406, but our loan balance is down to 18,000, so we could very feasibly pay that off today. So what is, the Nook Shopping is where we can order things through the mail. Uh. Okay, so this catalog contains furniture you've obtained. Oh, look at this. So we actually have like a little collection now. Hmm, obviously, it doesn't have everything on it. It doesn't show you things you could be getting. Hmm. So I guess if you really wanted to, you could try to collect everything. That's interesting. Anyway, special goods. You can see there's different things we could purchase, like the outdoor hat, sporty shades, hoi tea, nine ball tea, sweatpants, water shoes, Mr. KK. Interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to take a pass on most of these, but if I see anything I want, I definitely want to jump on the opportunity. And that probably also means I didn't check out the little recycling bin. So let's take a look at that. We have a rusted part. Exciting. Probably should just leave that in there, to be honest with you. Uh, but for right now, couple of things I need to do. I definitely need to organize my inventory. So I'll probably go back home and do just that. And then keep moving from there. So here's my inventory all sorted. Um, that seems pretty good to me. And then, yeah, I wanted to try the wood not flooring. Place horizontally. I sort of like that a little bit better than the pine board, I think. I think it, it mixes better. I don't think I'll get rid of this one just yet. We'll put it in the storage, because it's a pretty diverse one, you know? And we'll put that in the storage. How many iron nuggets do we have? 17, so that's good. And we can go outside and put this DIY workbench out there. That'll be pretty cool. But yeah, at least our home, I, I don't feel like my home has like a good representation of me just yet, but I do feel like it's quite relaxing at the least, so that's cool. Uh, so let's place this item. There's, okay, hold on. 
Might have to turn a little. Just like that. All right, place item. I guess there's not enough room. Let's push no. Okay, put that away. Push that over a little bit. Now try. There we go. So we can make stuff from our home whenever we want now, which is nice and useful. We can hang out with the birds. <laughs> so, we still have lots to do in today's episode though. If I put this here, so that's sort of the one thing I was sort of bummed out about that I didn't understand is that I thought I was going to be able to make more than one bridge. So because of that, I only sort of bridged off to this, not even this area. It's only going to be to down here, right? So, I mean, that still allows me some room to figure some things out, but not nearly as much as I was hoping for. So I'll put a first house maybe, I guess here would be good, right? So let's get our ax out and knock down this tree. Not bad. Get the shovel. It's really nice to have non-DIY, not DIY, but flimsy stuff. Pick that up. Perfect. So this will be where the first house is, because we need to figure out all three eventually. But maybe one for right now is fine. Let's turn around and do pot one housing kit build here. Would this area, uh, should I set this area aside for plot one? Let me imagine it. Cause like that, that's like an extra big spot. I guess maybe if they just needed extra room. That's not too bad. Got to do a little landscaping, but we can make this work. Should we go ahead? Yeah, sure. The thing is now though, we still need to build different materials and stuff. So as you can see, I picked a spot for plot one. My phone is ringing. I forgot we could get phone calls. Hello, that you Zebra? Yes, yes, this is Tom Nook. How goes your search for housing land? I've got some ideas. Stupendous, I'm relieved to hear that everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each home. It'll show you the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed in the box while exterior items should be placed outside around the plot. Ah, that's why there was the extra lining around it. Uh, we wanna make sure it looks nice and decorative now, hmm? Once you've set up the plots for all three homes and placed the required items, come report back to me. Wow, we gotta do it for all three of them? I'll be waiting in resident services. Thanks again for your help. Okay, thought maybe like we could do it one at a time. So, getaway package plot one construction box. To all construction helpers, please submit items for this building following the specified procedures. Check interior items. Orange wall mounted clock, orange end table, pot. I don't have anything to turn in. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just trying to see what we can make. Uh, please place the following items within. Stone stool, stone table, clothes line. Okay, check procedures. Please select interior items to see which interior items are required and to make submissions. Please select check exterior items to see which exterior items are required. After checking, please place exterior items in the vicinity of this plot. Exterior items should be in front of the plot or to either side. Place them close by so they're part of the plot. All right, stop reading. Interesting. So yeah, we'll definitely try to make the most of that. I'll have to see how I build all that kind of stuff. Probably should just, I mean, I shouldn't drop it. That's littering. I wish there was a way just to destroy it. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know how much of that we'll focus in on for the rest of today's episode, because that seems like a lot more than I was anticipating, but I'm glad that we got it set up. We got to set up the other ones now. Where do I want to put them? You know, one over here won't be so bad. Yeah, you know, like by the waterfall. It could be quite nice. I don't want to put them all the way over here. I thought they'll be a bit estranged. So I think right here is probably going to be a good spot. So let's do plot two. Let me imagine it. I think this is good, but let's be extra sure. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good spot to me. All right. I picked a spot for plot two. And we're getting another phone call. My phone is ringing. Uh, Zebra? It's me again. Sorry for the repeated calls. I forgot to tell you something important. You see, you'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers growing up on the cliffs of the island, so toodle up there if you need to. I've already sent you a recipe for a ladder. It's the ideal tool for when you need to scale those cliffs. Anywho, keep up the good work, hmm? All right, well, that's exciting. I'm really glad we'll be able to get a ladder then. Um, if we take a look at our DIY stuff, a ladder, 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 ladder. Right here, 
Oh, that is so exciting. So we'll have to get a lot of wood for that, but that's fine. So we'll just need to find one last place to plant this last plot. I don't know. Well, actually, if we have a ladder, could we put it up there? I don't know if they'd allow that. Could we have a beachside home? Wait, that's what I'm getting a little curious about. I don't think so. Build here. I'm too close to the water, I need more room. Hmm. Because no matter where we place this, they're gonna be a little close in with their neighbors, unless we do like right here. I guess we could try it. Plot three housing kit. That's not too bad. Yeah, they're pretty close to their neighbors, but it'll be fine. I think we can move stuff later if we need to. Yep, a little landscaping is not a problem. It might cost money to move stuff later, but if we're really desperate to organize things, I think that's fine. I picked a spot for plot three. So things are going really well with that. For right now though, like I, I have a lot I wanna do. I'm just trying to figure out what, what should I do first. I guess I should probably, was there, there's a bug here. You know, let's get our flimsy net and use that up. Oh, I hear, I hear a slingshot opportunity. So there's our tiger butterfly. Switch to the slingshot, come on now. I hear it, but where is it? Oh, now it sounds like it's to the right. I don't know. Aha, here we go, here we go. Ready? Got it! And that should be another Nook Miles thing done. Perfect. So let's see what's inside of this. Open it up. We got Pants Press. Huh. Wow, look at that. It presses the pants. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess maybe it's like for ironing them? Well, that's interesting. We're selling that one. Um, in the meantime, though, I got myself another bug to catch. Hiya! No, I missed. Back it up. Turn around. Missed again. <laughs> Sooner or later. There we go. There's a yellow butterfly. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a little bee. We've caught the bees before, but why not again? So, I caught a honeybee. Ah, sweet success. And then this is... Hiya! A, be a, a beetle. Beetle. <laughs> a tiger beetle. I bounce first. So that should definitely be enough then. Um, let's take a look. So first off, catch five bugs. So yeah, I think that was 300. And then this one's 200. Nook Miles. Thank you so much for popping those balloons. Tend to flowers, chop wood. All that should actually be quite doable for us if we go to the watering can. Water that up real quick. And if we stand like right in this corner, I think we can get all three of these, maybe? That only got one of them, wow, okay. Sometimes this watering can is less helpful. It's weird. That should definitely get these two. I forget how many we need to tend to, but it really shouldn't be that difficult to tend to all the ones we need to. Another bee, actually I do want to get that. Flimsy net. Thank you. Cause I can just like sell all these for lots of cash over time. Cause like I said, I would really like to pay off our loan if we can. Watering can. Right about here sounds good. Cause I don't know if this is really doing too much for them. Cause they're already full grown. I don't see why I would need to water them anymore. But that still gives us the 10 to the flowers nook miles. So a hundred. And now we have grow fruit trees. All right, well, we'll do all that kind of stuff soon. Not as worried when it comes to that. Oh, another butterfly. Oh, I missed. I can't see anymore. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Third time's the charm. Oh, and a couple of shells. I'm just sort of looking around for everything. I do know that I need to grab those, uh, the roach for, for Beth. Whenever we find that. How's our inventory doing? Actually, good chunk of space. I'm just trying to make the most of everything, really. Got it, and got it. And one more over this way. Oh, oh, you're new. Are there bugs that like little tree stumps? That's cute. Come on now, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Ha, gotcha! All right, look at this. 
Yes, I caught a citrus longhorn beetle. Aren't you happy for me? That's new. Oh, and there goes our net, but that's why we have more. Oh no, thank you for your service, faithful flimsy net. That's actually pretty exciting that we got that. Oh, and a message in a bottle. Let's see what this one's gonna be. Wait, where is it? Oh yeah, it's where the net was. So we'll switch that over like that, open it up. Here's a secret, and I secreted it. A weird DIY TV show I watched at 2 a.m. told me to make this, so I did. Here's the recipe. I put the recipe in the bottle so someone else can make it too. If you make it, scream, I made it! Biscuit, AKA DIY man. Sauna heater. All right. Huh, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a sauna heater. Isn't that cool? So we still have two more inventory slots if we want to try to find some more stuff. Maybe I'll catch a fish. Oh, my uh, thing isn't saved. Favorite. Right there. Perfect. Now hold it. And go for it. Oh, no. Not quite right. Because I do need to look into what fish can be found this month before the month is over. Because I want to make sure that we, we find everything we possibly can. Oh, is that a dab? That's an owl flounder. Because I know we need to find a dab at some point. And try that out. Oh, let's try to change the angle so I can see a little bit better. You're a fishy fishy. Come on now, we can do it. Yeah, please, no. He is picky right now. I'm gonna get him though, this one's perfect. There he goes, oh, we got his attention. Oh, right away, you aren't fooling me with that one. Oh, and it looks like it's a black bass. Cool. So with that done, our inventory is full, so we just want to skedaddle and sell stuff right now. But then maybe we could do some other stuff. Mostly focus on the loan. But then if we could build the ladder and go up to the other area, like that'd be so much fun. So yeah, there's there's lots to do. Hi guys. See, happy to see you again for the third time today. No, I don't want the cardboard box. <laughs> I came back, I changed my mind, I want the cardboard box. <laughs> I caved. These two are just so wonderful at selling things. I wanna sell. So definitely anything that I haven't uh, already donated or that I have donated. So I don't need the pants press. I don't need the metronome, tiger butterfly, any of that, any of these shells. Really all the only thing I need to donate is this uh, citrus longhorn beetle. So that's getting to be exciting. Confirm all that. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. 7,740 bells. Thank you very much. We're so close. So close to getting the uh, loan paid off. I might want to get a couple thousand over so that we can have some money to spend if we need it. So I'll keep working towards it. But for right now, going to go into the museum, donate this beetle, and then we can maybe build the ladder. I think so, we just have to go home and get the proper materials and then we can use it on our own workbench. So, you know, little bits of progress every day. Hi. So, make a donation. Beetle right over this way. Here you go. Yeek, a citrus longhorn beetle, what a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? I would love to, I'm so sorry you don't like it. Ha, I see. In that case, <clears throat> the citrus longhorn beetle is a putrid pest and a grave threat to trees. Whew, it's true. Adults possess power, powerful jaws that you and, and use them to chomp through hardwood and plant fibers with ease. The little larvae are no better, boring butter-like holes into innocent trees with gusto, citrus trees especially. Voracious and vile indeed. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. All right, well, I'm glad he can put his differences aside, as per usual. I'm fine, thank you for your, your, your help. And also, you're welcome. So one step at a time, we're just getting closer and closer to a full museum. Can't wait until that day finally comes, but we gotta go back here, get to crafting. So what exactly do I need for the ladder? Should I craft something? I would like you to. Uh, the ladder will require four wood, four hardwood, and four softwood. Pretty decent balance. I could actually probably just get that on our own. And that might be better because I think that's one of the Nook Biles things anyways. Oh, 
I must have already hit this tree. <laughs> it's not giving me much. There we go. Let's add some hardwood and normal wood. Actually, I think that was normal wood and softwood. So we'll have to keep going until we get a little bit of everything. Because I think we have enough normal wood now. We need one more softwood and three more hardwood. Yeah, we're not really getting too much hardwood. Let's try this one out. Oh, that got us a little bit. Hardwood seems to be the rarest kind. I guess that would make sense if it's, it's harder. Maybe it's harder to knock out of the tree. Okay, so I think one more is all we need. And also, if we do a little bit of this, that's another hardwood. Oranges as well, so I could actually plant a new orange tree. That might be a good idea. Because that's another daily challenge we have. And also, if we're planting so many trees, we don't have to worry as much. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, can I put whatever I got rid of there? Yeah, what did I do? Hold on. Favor the shovel. Right here, as per usual. And bury an orange. Plant one. Because that will get another Nook Miles thing done. So we're, we're churning through them right now. So, let's claim both of these. 150, another 100. Oh, and are we getting stuff done for catching, or for selling shells? Okay, so I guess I gotta get one more shell and sell that one. Uh, also sell some fruit. All that kind of stuff we can do, no problem. Oh, there's another butterfly. Eh, I'll leave it be for now because we can make this ladder. Should I craft something? Let's craft. Oh, here we go. I'm so excited for this. We got the ladder. We can finally go up on the cliffs. I'm going to, going to collect so much stuff up there for sure. I made a ladder. All done for now. Next episode will probably be a bit more focused in on getting the house materials figured out. So I can just hold it. Interesting. Huh. I'm going to have to maybe favor it at some point. For right now, though. Yeah, can I, do I just put it somewhere and does it permanently stay there? Or is it more like a tool? I think it's supposed to be like a tool, but yeah, because now I can use it to go back down. Interesting indeed. Oh, I see another one of those pink praying mantises. Okay, so I want to grab some of these hycanaths for sure. I don't know if I need to dig them up, but I don't think so. And there's also different types of trees up here. Very cool. Oh no, I just get away ladybug away. That's all right though. Oh, there's another rock up this way as well. So much to do. Let's turn around before that pink praying mantis disappears. Oh, this has already popped back up again. So, I think I've already caught that butterfly. I think that's one of the flying kite kind. From a wet, long ways away, I'm just gonna sneak up. Mm, I got it, there we go. Whoa, yes! I called an orchid mantis. Our friendship is blooming. What a beautiful specimen. So let's grab all of this. Oh, we can sneak behind too, look at this. Very fancy. <laughs> You'll never know where I went. But we can just wrap around the long way. Obviously not the most helpful thing, but it's, it's, it's there to do. Oh yeah, is there gonna be fish up here? I don't know, maybe. Actually, I'm a little turned around, where are we? Okay, more ladybugs to scare away. There's a fish. This area is a lot more expansive than I was expecting. Oh, there's another one. I scared him off, I'm sorry. But maybe not this fish, because this could be a totally new fish we've never caught before. It'll probably be, if I had to guess, it's probably another carp, because they seem to be very common in the ponds. Come on now. You can do it. I know you see it. <laughs> You're just being a little lazy. You want it to get, get closer to you. There we go. Can't get any closer than that. That's it. Oh, it is a carp. Told ya. <laughs> well, we'll just keep checking this area because now we know we can get a koi from this because we got that a couple episodes back. There's so many of these flowers to get as well because I think we need these for crafting the uh, whatever else we need. See, lots and lots of flowers though. I really wanna make the most of all this. 
We can just get whatever we can. Because usually we have to go to an island to find all this stuff, so it's nice to not have to do that right now. And we'll also want to go up to the second level of it, because there is a higher cliff even. Oh, another praying mantis. We've never sold one of these guys before, so we could do that now. If I can catch you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Very cool. I caught a mantis. Mantis, so cool. And, wait, wait, wait. Ah, uh, I sort of panicked a little. Hmm. Not seeing too much more at the moment. Actually, no, there's plenty. There is plenty. Yeah, where were we before that? Did we hop up? I feel a little turned around. I guess we were over there on the other side of the river. Yeah, and would you look at this? We got ourselves another thing to shovel up. So there are bugs everywhere up here. Look, I dug up a fossil. And I don't think we ever hit that rock, so we could jump across to that again. Well, actually, I do see a new bug over this way. Trying my best not to scare it off. Looks like a stink bug. Got it, nice. So this is a stink bug. It lives up to its name. Yeah, they're, they're very stinky. If you don't know, you don't wanna know. <laughs> I don't like the smell of them. So here's another bee. Gotcha. I got a honeybee. Ah, sweet success. We've caught a, a few of those at this point. And we have a little fishy. So this is on like a, you know, a higher up river, so maybe this will be something new? Who knows? Oh, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> he was going for it, and he just at the last moment got distracted. Okay, come on. Got it. Sometimes it's just easier for me to close my eyes and not pay attention, we get a black bass. Nothing too crazy there, but it could have been. You never know. Aha, here's the rock I was looking for. Let's get our shovel out. Okay, there's a uh, couple of iron nuggets. Quite a few, actually. Oh, it just keeps giving. I like it. Okay, so five iron nuggets and two rocks from that. Very generous. So how am I doing with all my different high count-ups? Quite a lot of all of them. So I think we'll be fine with not grabbing too many more. I do, though, want to get the ladder back out. Hold the ladder. And let's try going up here. I don't know if it'll be any different, but it at least feels very exciting. So lots more flowers, lots more trees, but honestly, it's actually less populated up here when it comes to the bugs at the least. Oh, but there's another little pond. Whoa, oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't mean to scare you. But I am gonna get you. <laughs> there we go, caught a mantis. Those have to sell for a lot, you know? I would hope. So there's no fish up here either, wow, okay. A little bit surprised by the lack of stuff going on. Can we just jump down? Nope, need to get the ladder out. So let's do that again. Hold, and go. So, so far, very interesting. Can't wait to come back up here later on, trying to find other stuff. There's another butterfly, but once again, we have that one. Very, very fun. So I definitely wanna donate that new mantis we got. Well, actually, the new mantis and the new stink bug. And the fossil. Lots of stuff. So where is he at? He's gonna be over here. But yeah, I'm glad we got the second opportunity to get the pink mantis before, you know, I guess I ran out of time. Because I think that most of the things change by month. So by the end of March, I mean this video, I don't know when this video is going out, but I'm recording it on March, what was it, 25th? So I, I really wanna make sure that in the next almost, a little less than a week, I get everything I can within March. So for right now, let's assess a fossil. Let's see what this is. So my inventory was just about full anyway, so it was a good time to come down. Here you go. Let me see here, hmm, indeed. Hoo hoo, of course, it can be the one, but one thing, a Quetzal torso. A Quetzal torso, quite remarkable indeed. If only I could take it off your hands. Alas, we already have one, so I must return it to your care. All right, well, that means it's something else I can sell. Is there anything else I can help you with? Make a donation. So we are donating a stink bug and an orchid mantis. Woohoo, several things I see. Let's take a look. Splendid, we will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, I'm fine. 
Jolly good, please enjoy the rest of your visit. So that is two more additions to the museum. We just see him all the time now, it's great. And we should just be able to sell the rest of it without too much of a hassle. I wanna hold on to the flowers, that was the whole reason I went up there was for the flowers, so it'd be silly to uh, turn away from them now. So it looks like there are going to be four fossils in the map per day, but some of them might be higher up. So we just gotta keep looking for those. So, I would like to sell. And I'm not entirely sure of everything I'm selling here, but I think that, also the clumps of weeds, any of the extra flowers, so I didn't get too many red ones, but I don't need more than 10 of each of the yellow and white, right? I don't think so, and if, even if I do, I can just hop up and get some more later on another day. There we go, that looks like a good selection. Maybe also the oranges as well. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. 6,850 bells, you got it! Thank you, please come again. So that's great. Whenever we have the time to, whenever I feel up to it, we could pay off our loan. That might be something I save for next episode. I don't know how much more we wanna do today. But, actually, we might as well do it today. I do wanna see some of the things we have to craft. Uh, which will be over this way. I probably wanna make like a little list so I can keep an eye on it. Should I craft something? Let's craft. I just wanna see what's available now. Um, Cause I know that we wanted to make, well he was saying, oh, here's the sauna heater. <laughs> they would love that, wouldn't they? Uh, where is the bouquet? Here it is, a Hykanath wreath. And we can make, oh wow, okay, no we do have. I must have missed it, we must have a set of 10 somewhere. We can make three of these, which is what we need, right? There's one. I made a high count of three. Keep crafting. Right there, got it. But these are really nice, I like them. I made a high count of three, and then one more time. Got it. We still have a little bit left over of each of them, but we can go up and get more at any time. All done for now. So with that, running back down this way, we'll jump across from here. Might be a bit of a shortcut, actually. Can we just put those on there, or what? Interior items. High count of three. There we go, submit items. One of these, confirm. I turned in one item. And then over this way, we got this one. Interior items. You don't have anything to turn in. Wait, was there not? Oh, I guess not all of them need the wreath. Weird. I should hold on to because maybe later they'll need it. Yeah, that's weird, okay. Well, we'll have to start working on filling up all those items in the next episode, I think will be a great idea. But for right now, I'm so happy that we were able to uh, climb up to the new zones and be able to finally explore those. Everything I've been hoping for. So now none of the island is out of our reach. We can touch all of it, we can explore it, find whatever we want, including a little fish, the Crucian Carp. But honestly, not too much crazy new beyond that. Hello. Uh, come back for more, huh? Must be one in person, my winning personality, kidders. What's the latest? That new bridge is great. I had no idea how annoyed I was getting when I tried to cross the river. I've already caught myself standing on it and staring into the, to a, the horizon a few times, too. What a view. Yeah, I've got to find whoever put it there and thank him, kidders. That was me. You're welcome. So if there's one more thing I probably want to do before I forget, it's going to be... Oh, I could have gotten another one. Darn. So they like stumps. I got to keep that in mind. Maybe there are some other bugs that will like stumps as well. But if we look at some of the ocean rocks... There are sometimes those little roaches that biff once. Because apparently they'll teach him to do something or something, I don't know. But I do see something we can hit with our slingshot. Oh, let's get across quick. I hear it and I sort of see it. Slingshot. Oh, not quite yet. Maybe a little too far over. There we go. Grabbing it. What will this one be? An outdoor table. We already have one of these, just in a different color. Well, that's cool, we'll probably just sell that one. Oh, I'm not seeing any of them around right now, that's sort of a shame. We'll check on the other side as well, if we can. Not any over here. I wish we could just sneak up behind, but you know what? Oh wait, one thing, there's another place I missed there to dig something up, but on top of that, this is where the ladder becomes very useful because, no, not that, hold on. Whoop. 
I should probably favorite it over the watering can, which I don't really use very often. I want to keep the slingshot favorited, even though I don't use that very often either, just because usually when I need it, I need it like in that exact moment. So that seems a bit more useful. Let's dig this up, and then we can get to the other side very easily. We get another fossil. I might just have to save that for next episode though, because I'm definitely running out of time. But I guess there are five fossil spots we can find. Or at least there can be up to that. Okay, all I'm worried about right now is getting down to the side and seeing if there's any more of the roaches. It doesn't look like it though. That's unfortunate, but we tried our best looking around for everything. See, I had so much fun in today's episode making all the progress that we did and we'll be sure to make more progress in the next episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.